Kimbo and I run a craft website called agirlmaglugan.com and this is my YouTube channel. I love basically anything crafty. Love it. But what I find myself doing the most of is cutting things out with my silhouette, especially adhesive vinyl and iron on vinyl. Um, I actually have a whole YouTube series called Silhouette Love where I'm trying to teach people to love their silhouettes as much as I love my silhouette. So we just kind of go over the software. We start at the very beginning. So if you're new to silhouette, make sure to check that out. But with that means I join all the vinyl Facebook groups that are out there because I just want to see what people are making and the fun ideas and hacks that people are coming up with. And one of the things that I see all the time are people uploading pictures of their loved ones and asking other people if they can turn them into SVGs. So that is the theme of our YouTube video today. Turning images into SVGs is easy but hard at the same time because depending on the quality of the photo, every photo is going to yield a different result. Um, so we're going to discuss all that. We're going to try it a bunch of websites. Lots of websites promise to be able to turn your photos into SVGs. Few of them actually provide the quality that you're going to want. We're also going to remove the background and we're gonna, I'm going to teach you how to maybe lighten and darken a photo. So if your SVG website isn't reading it and not giving you as much detail, we can darken it a little bit to try to get a little bit more detail. So it's a long YouTube video because it covers so many things. All right, these are the photos that I have selected. These are the ones we're going to play around with. Um, like I mentioned, each different photo is going to give you different results depending on the lighting and the quality, etc. Um, so I picked some old ones. You can see I've got my grandma, my grandpa, and uh, my husband's grandma. I've got some new ones. I have some with dark backgrounds. I have a recipe in there. So we're going to play around with these. Um, you do want to make sure that you have good lighting, especially on the face. So this one of my grandpa, do you see how dark it is? When we go to turn that into an SVG, you'll notice how hard it is to pick up those features. So you definitely are going to try to want to pick a good, well-lit photo just jumping off point. I know that sometimes um, you just kind of get what you get in the photo department, but if you have a variety, that's what you're going to try to search for. So the first website that we're going to use is awesome and it's free. It's called Remove. BG. And this is exactly what it looks like when you pull it up. So we're going to upload an image. We're going to do this one with my son. We've got the water. We've got all this greenery. And if we put that into the program to turn that into an SVG, it's going to try to get all this detail in the background and turn that into the SVG. And look at that. It just, it's like magic how well this program works. It's so good. So you'll just click download and download that. Look at that. Like I said, if you were to upload this, it would try to grab this and there would be details in here. The SVG programs are going to pick up any dark spots. So you really want to weed that out. Um, let's do another one. So this one's really dark. You can tell around her hair. picks it up amazing. So good. So this is a great program. Remove a background. I'm guessing that's what the BG stands for. Remove.bg. So once you have all of your images with the backgrounds removed, we're going to go play around with them in a couple different softwares. Oh, before we move on, I forgot I wanted to show you what the recipe card. If you try to remove the background of a recipe card, it doesn't quite work. It really, I don't know if it's just for faces or main objects, but it's, I thought maybe it would pick up just each of the letters. It's not really going to work. So you'll just want to crop that one down to the recipe card or the handwriting, what you want, you know, just crop it down in your whatever photo software that you have. I was like 100% remove BG is awesome, but I did notice really quickly. So let's upload an image. Um, I'm gonna pick that one. It's gonna upload it. It's gonna take away the background, and you can download it. But you're downloading it at a preview image. So this one's 433 by 577. If you want to download the HD, which is gonna be the bigger size, which means you might get a little bit more detail in some of these apps. 
So if you click download, you're going to have to either pay or get credits. It looks like if you sign up free, if this is your first time here, you can download one for free. So if you're only making one, this is like a Mother's Day project. You're only needing one image, then perfect. Sign up, get your free image. But other than that, it might cost a little bit more money. So the ones that I've been playing with in this YouTube video are all these smaller images. And so they've looked fine. There has been one that was um, a little bit smaller. It was the one with, this is the one that was, if you can tell, we're just teeny tiny, like compared to my son's face. So when I try to turn this one into an SVG, it just didn't pick up hardly any of the detail because there's not a whole lot of detail to get. The more you zoom in, the more pixelated it's going to get. So just a thing of note, I'm still loving that Remove Background app. It's awesome, but keep that in mind. Okay, first things first, I wanted to show you, this is when I try to take that image that I have not removed the background and try to turn it into an SVG. It's picking up all that darkness from the background. That is when you're converting it from SVG, it's picking up the dark features that are in the photo and that's what's highlighting. So if you don't remove that background, you're gonna end up with a lot of extra noise. So that's the purpose of removing the background. All right, so I have about six different softwares that we're gonna play around with. Um, they're all recommended in like the Facebook group. So we're gonna try it and see which one we like the best. I'm gonna use the same photo so we can kind of do a little comparison game and see which one we like the best. Um, but I feel like they're all probably a little bit handy to have depending on what your picture looks like. You might have to bounce between a few um, because they all give you a little bit of different results. So. We're going to open up a new window. So this is Inkscape. If you watched my last YouTube video about how to turn my cut files into SVGs and DXFs, this is the program that I use. It works really well when the picture is just black and white, um, but where there's other colors going on, it does give a little bit more noise. So it's great for those uh, cut files that you've drawn, photos, it's not... I like it, but I think there's other ones that I like a little bit better. So like I said, we'll do a comparison game. But this is the first one we're going to try because I already have this one downloaded on my computer. It is free. Um, so we're going to do my daughter's graduation picture is the one that we're going to just do across the board. So, so here she is. You click on it. You go to Path, Trace Bitmap, and it will come up with this pop-up window. And you're just going to push OK. And it's going to give us the SVG. You can see how it automatically darkens. So it's not so bad. You can tell that we've lost a little bit of her the, her bottom lip. The face isn't super detailed. But there will be some SVGs that give you a lot of detail. And the more detail that you have means the more weeding that you have. And if you're cutting out something small, you know there's a lot of problems that come with little tiny pieces. You can see these little tiny pieces that are cut out of her hair. Um, in this program, you can adjust this brightness. So we're gonna go down to 3.5. That was at 0.45, so it's actually 0.35. You're gonna click OK again, and it's gonna give us not as much detail. So let's do it one more time and make the threshold up. We were, let's just do a 0.5. And let's see that darkens it a little bit more. So you can kind of play around and get a little bit more detail. Like you can see, there's gonna be more detail here in her hair. So this was, I'll put them in order for you. Lower brightness threshold, medium brightness threshold. That's 0.5. So let's do one more. We'll go all the way up to six. Okay, so you can tell six was just a little bit too much. So I do think this, the one that's naturally setting, I feel like I like her eyes a little bit here, but I like her mouth a little bit here. I like 
I like a little bit more detail in the hair. So that's Inkscape. All right, the next one we're going to try is onlineconvert.com. Now, I believe one of these, you could only get three free ones a day. Okay. I'm trying to figure out if this is the one. It had a pop-up that just popped up. So we're going to choose a file. We're going to use daughter's graduation. It's uploaded. You're going to click start. Okay, yeah. So this is the one, online-convert.com, and you get three free tasks a day, which isn't a big deal, but if you're doing this a lot, that might be a game breaker. You might have to pay for it. So it downloaded to my computer, and that's what it looks like. It's pretty dark. You've lost a lot of her eyes. This is the one I did of my grandma. And the same kind of thing. I've lost a lot of her face. This is the picture. It didn't pick up the dark under her nose at all. So it does work. I mean, technically, that's an SVG. So that one is online-convert.com. I don't love it. It's not my favorite. And I also don't love that I can only do three. So I'm like, I'm... I only have one left, and so I don't want to, like, play around with settings and see if I can make it not as dark. So, not my favorite. All right, moving on. The next one is um, png2svg.com is the website. And this one you can do colors. So, if you're wanting to do a print and cut or a sublimation or something, like, there's an option there. To me, they look a little cartoony. So this is the one I did of my grandma. So we're going to do choose file. So you're going to kind of skip all this. Choose file. Uh, graduation picture. And then, so right up here is where you pick how many colors you want and the simplify. I haven't noticed. I think the simplify... To me, I've played around with it, and the Simplify hasn't done anything, but I'm only using one color, so that might be because I'm only using one color. So you scroll down here, click Generate. It gives us pretty close to the same results as Inkscape. Um, it picks up the colors that are in there. I think that looks a little freaky. <laughs> Her eyes. Let's do it with two colors. I did notice in one that I used, I felt like it gave me a little bit more detail if I used more than one color. And then I wondered if you could cut by color. And so it just, so there's an option there to play around with. But once again, I just come want a nice, easy upload the picture and give me the SVG. So, but I do like, I don't know. I think it's cool that this one has a color option because if you're looking to maybe cut something out in different colors or like if the person has a cool shirt on and you want to make that a focal point. So there's different options here. Uh, that one is PNG to SVG.com. All right, moving on. Convertio.co is what this one is. Convertio.co. Not dot com dot co. Um, this is the landing page. File converter. This one is actually pretty awesome. I'll show you. Hang on. We'll do graduation. It has, you can pick what you wanted it converted to. So there's tons of other things besides SVGs. So right here is the drop down. So if you're looking for, I don't know, any of these there's even more. Lots. So really nice to have in your like package of things that you can do with it. So convertio.co, we're going to click just SVG because that's what we're here for. And then we're going to click convert. Um, this one is going to download to your computer as well. So it's like a surprise. You have to wait for it. 
while we're waiting. This is the one I pulled up of my grandma, which I feel like is very similar to that one. So that was the first one that we tried, but you can see it has a little bit more detail. So it does pull in a little bit more. Okay, finished. We're clicking download. All right, I like it. I think it looks good. Let's compare it with, so you can notice the eyes. That's what I'm really, so this definitely gives a little bit more detail. The Convertio gives a lot more detail than the online-convert.com. So I'm going to just say this one's out of the running. This is the one that only gives you three. So I'm not, I'm not loving that one. And this one's PNG to SVG. That's the color one. So I think this one is my favorite so far. I like Inkscape. I, what I like about Inkscape is that you can kind of play around with, you know, how much detail you want it to pick up. But I do know there's another one that I really like too. So, all right. I think we have two more. SVG Converter. So it's freeconvert.com backslash SVG dash converter. Um, just these are ads you know how it says start you automatically think that's what you're going to and it gets me every time so scroll past that we're going to be here we're choosing file i actually don't know if i've used this one yet it's when someone just recommended so we've got an output so you can also pick how you want it saved out which is awesome and then we're going to convert it And we're waiting and we're wait. I'm not a patient person. And then we're going to download it. Oh, did I pick the wrong one? Cause that one is not great. <laughs> did it not do? No. Cause it said it was a PNG, which means it didn't have the background. Okay. We're going to try another one because that one was not convert more files. I don't know if I chose the wrong graduation photo, but regardless if it was or not, it's still not great. Okay. We're going to choose this grandma great one that is without the background. It's for sure without the background. We're going to convert it. Let's see what it pulls up. Okay. So this one is a no, this one just pulls in all the colors and doesn't give you just the black and white. It's just a big mess. So I'm going to say freeconvert.com SVG converter is out. Those are what you, they give you. I mean, you could cut by color, but look at her teeth. <laughs> I mean, there's a little potential there, but like I said, I'm just looking for easy one and done because I keep thinking, look at like all these little pieces right here are going to cut and clog up your blade. So. This one is the last one. I feel like I saved the best for last. I love the first one. I mean, I shouldn't say I loved it. I thought the, I think the first one is the best option in my opinion, because I feel like you can play around with it a little bit more, but this one does a little bit different than the other ones that we've seen. So we're going to upload a picture. Graduation again, who is kind of sick of seeing that picture. And then you're going to scroll down. So it actually makes it look like a coloring book, which I feel like. It's just a different, there's a lot more detail here for sure. If you remember the Inkscape one, she had no bottom lip. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can get a little bit of detail. So um, there's also, so here's the Inkscape one. It all just turned this to black. So I can't even see that there's a diploma here, but on this one, she's clearly holding something. So you're get, just getting a little bit more detail. Um, I do think that you can play around with this and you could maybe upload this into your software and cut, fill this, fill this layer, cut that all black. Um, maybe fill in a little bit of here, cut those black, maybe mix and match this one with this one. So like I said, I like, I think the face has a lot more detail here. 
I feel like the hair has a little bit more detail, but I don't know if you want it to have that outline effect. So I do think it's cool. I really like it and look how easy, it, I mean, I didn't have to play around with it. It looks like there's filters. So let's play around. All right, so that, that gets rid of a little bit more detail slash noise. So depending on the look you're going for, that's why it has taken me so long to put this YouTube video together is because it's really hard because each photo is going to be different. But that's, ooh, see, I'm loving this. Look how fun. Okay, look. Look how dark and fun that one is. Uh, this one's called Ready One. I don't know what. Okay, so it does the black and white option too. Okay, so let's keep going. I think that one looks almost the same. What do you think? I'm not noticing a big difference. So you can do inverted, which is the outline. I think I liked the number two. The one that they gave it to us was a little bit, maybe four? I don't know. Strong, okay, let's do strong. Let's go back up to one on strong. Okay, so you can kind of play around, see which one you like the best, download that one, and you can maybe mix and match between the all colored in version and the outline version. So that one is picksvg.com. So from here on out, I'm gonna show you a couple of, I'm gonna show you that one with my grandpa with the really light face. Uh, or the dark face, but it's a really light picture. I'm going to show you um, the recipe card. And we're going to do a couple more pictures. But I'm going to just kind of stick with just pick svg.com and Inkscape for these. Because I just think those two are the best. So those are the ones I'm going to stick with. So you're not so overwhelmed. All right. So this is, we're in pick svg. We're going to upload the pancake recipe. The recipe card, which these ones I think are super popular when you have this handwritten recipe and, you know, you cut it out and you apply it on a cute tea towel. So this one does a really good job. It even picks up the lines of it, which I think are really fun. Um, let's see how much detail we lose or get. So looks pretty good. So definitely this one would have to be an inverted one. Um, let's pull it up on the Inkscape one. Push, okay. See, I feel like these do so, the Inkscape does so good for letters. We're gonna zoom out just a little bit. See, look how great that look. If, so if you don't want the lines, it's not picking up. It just picks up the darkest parts. And then we could crop out this. It does pull up a little bit dark over here where the other one doesn't because there's a splotch. I think it makes it look a little bit more dark. So there's potential here with both. I actually like both of these for the recipe. I am going to show you a hack of... Um, what to do if you're trying to do like a hand lettered something and you can't get it to read. I'm going to show you that um, towards the end. So stay tuned if you're wanting something that's lettered that you can't get the SVG to work up. All right, let's click back over to pick SVG. And we're going to upload. Let's do this one of my grandpa. So this one is very... This one he's got, it's very grainy. He's got some dark shadows over his face and he's just very bright white. So it's definitely not an ideal picture. Like you're not getting any great detail there. So, so I think this one definitely gives a little bit more detail. But do you see how it's just all white? I forgot, we're gonna, let's try this. 
So this is where I would maybe try. So if this is your only picture and you really want it to get to get it to work, this is where you'd go over into some photo editing software. Um, let's just upload it. I'm using PicMonkey. It used to be free. It's not free anymore, but I love it and it does a ton. So I'm stuck with it, but I know Canva is free. So if you don't want to, you know, pay for it, if you're just trying to do a one-time thing, you can just do it over in Canva. But what I'm basically trying to do is just get things a little bit darker and a little bit more detail. I don't know if it's possible because it's very grainy, but this is what I would normally do. Um, maybe effects. They have some black and white versions, which may help darken it. Super black and white. See how it's given a little bit more detail. So that one lightened. We definitely don't want that one. Let's do that one. And then in your edits, you can do your exposure and play around. Do you see how it picks up those dark features a little bit more? So that's what I would play around with. Try to find something, download it, put it in that SVG software and see if you can find something that is going to work. Okay, so this one is the one that I darkened. I feel like I can actually see his eyes that like looks way more familiar than just the shadow across his face. Let's do it with the black and white. It's still a little bit hard to see in black and white. So that's the option. That's what I do when I have a picture that I am trying to convert. I lighten it up or I darken it. I'm just trying to get it to where it really pops in black and white. Um, let me look and see. All right, let's look and see if there is, let's do this one because if you remember, this is what we were getting from the other softwares was just two little eyes and two little eyebrows. So let's see, see um, automatically look at her eyes so much better, so much better smile. Basically the same for that. So I think peak pick SVG guys is your winner. If you needed a winner, that one is it. I just want to give you as many examples so you can kind of just see how they're going to look because every, every picture is giving us a different result. I think it would be a lot stronger if it was HD. So keep that in mind. We're getting, it, it's only 500 by 500. But let's look at it this way. <laughs> it's not funny how the hair just chops off. And as promised, here is the recipe card. So this is great for um, things that are really light, things that have maybe stains on it, or a lot of extra noise going on, like lines through it, or maybe your kid drew something in a really light colored crayon and it doesn't quite work in the SVG softwares that we just used. So this is the Procreate app. I have a couple YouTube videos all about it. Go check out the one where I take photos and I trace over them and turn them into these really cute portraits. This is essentially what I'm doing. I uploaded that image. I opened up a new window on top of it and I'm just tracing over it. So it's a great way to capture all the details you want and leave all of the stains and things like that that you don't want. So I love having this as a backup just in case I can't get the image that I want with the apps that I've used.
All right, here is my finished product. Uh, this is my mom's pancake recipe. She makes it for the grandkids. They request it every time we go and stay, so I had to put it on this little, what is it, cheese board. Um, I just think this project is so sweet because it just pays tribute to those people um, who have passed or still alive that you love. It's just a cute personalized gift idea. I've seen people put images of people on shirts or on wall signs. I've seen people take pictures of letters and convert that into a fun sign. So the possibilities are really endless. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you guys have any questions or what you want to see for the next YouTube video.